All right, all right. So I obviously play video games. I get that, but I didn't watch E3 and I don't know why. I'm, I'm having a hard time processing why I missed E3. So we're gonna watch something big, something big, something I, 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 Halo Infinite multiplayer overview, baby. The first game I ever, ever played was on Xbox 360. Not like the first game I played Nintendo, whatever. The first real game <laughs> that I ever played was Halo Infinite on uh, 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 what? No, it wasn't. Was Halo Reach, sorry, on Xbox 360. Oh my God. Uh, since then, I mean, some of the Halo games were a little, I have never been so excited for a game. Halo Infinite multiplayer overview, baby. Let's react to this trailer. This is gonna determine my future. <laughs> I obviously play on PlayStation. You saw I made them. Okay, okay. Just the feeling of like being in a firefight Ooh, and hearing I got the, the click of the gun, throwing it down, <laughs> grabbing one off the wall. My gunner's upside down and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. Any pistol across any of the games. Whatever gun uh. allows me to feel the most like John Wick, I am there. And remember how excited I was with like this big combat with vehicles going all over the place. Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. Oh! Ooh! Oh my god! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is Halo multiplayer? And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style combat. And big team battle, this wide open, BTB, baby. used BTB, uh, kind baby. of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players. We're it's gonna give really you great ways to customize your Spartan, really make your super soldier <laughs> your own. And we're kicking off a journey, an experience that's gonna evolve month to month, season month to season, to month season, year after year. What? For me, working through this multiplayer of this game, and the toughest challenge I think was really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new. Big We've facts. tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a in a in a way where you kind of won't notice it, where you feel like, oh, they really designed this to be a celebration of previous Halo, oh as well God. as an iteration. Oh, of I'm so Halo excited! And go next. What the, what the, what the, the vision fuck of Arena was, that? was all about a tight experience. It was all oh. about being fair. It was all about earning everything on the map, earning everything, every kill you oh get. Oh my god, this is actual like gameplay. What is the core foundation Baby. Of what made the great Halo multiplayer? Was there a grappling hook for a second Halo there? Halo is really about fair and balanced. Did I miss starts. something? So everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip. And then once they start running around, it's about scavenging, it's about finding new toys yeah. and, and kind of. Developing Sandbox, your play style baby. as you run through the match. Is it, what is that going to... Is that a what battle rifle? Halo feel like Halo? Um, no, I feel like uh, the answer to that question is is the sandbox. Like, the sandbox is Halo. When we set out to look at Halo Infinite from a high level and the direction of what it is, there's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push what are the things that are true to Halo, but what are the things that fans haven't seen Ooh. yet? Ooh. Equipment is back, but equipment is kind Ooh. of... Mo uh, has the has a has a bigger voice than ever before. Oh, yeah. We ask questions to ourselves of, oh, yeah. uh, if you could go after you know a power weapon to get a bunch of kills, uh, would you do that, yeah. or could you go and get grapple to make sure that you Energy swing yourself sword, to the like, other oh, side of the map to back cap a stronghold? We saw that as like another oh, avenue of not just skill expression but tactics for teams to coordinate around. The exciting combinatory nature of. You know, this toy plus this toy and how those interact with objectives is super amazing. Looking at how the power-ups play, like your classic power-ups, like the overshield. Holy shit! For this Con title, what feed, we're baby. looking at what we're excited for, is you pick that up, 
and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory. Oh. If you haven't used it, <laughs> okay. if someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield, oh. and they can take it, use it for themselves. That, to me, is very legacy. I do but like we that, took the actually. Equipment side of it and modernized it. Oh my it. god. When it comes to this the vehicles, is we went in beautiful. and decided to invest a lot in the, the systems. Beautiful. When I take damage in my warthog, uh, my, my wheels can get blown off, my hood can get blown off. There's different aspects of the vehicle that change how <laughs> my it's vehicle missing handles a tire. now. And that's something that's brand new. The other oh thing we God. added to that is like this doomsday mechanic. So when you hit this threshold, the vehicle catches fire and it's very much, you've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time and you gotta choose what you wanna do with the last minutes of this vehicle. They gonna blow. We've they got a cousin to the Warthog, which is the Razorback. The back the razor is like multi-storage compartment that you can put a lot of stuff into. So if you wanna put like oh my God. attached turrets, I'm getting power so weapons, many kills. fusion coils, objectives, and that is what really making That's uh, gonna be like a BTB kind of thing. MP and campaign. The Mostly, levels maybe. define pace for the game. Oh my god. It is. And they the define game play. the iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match. What do they want what to the do? What the hell was that? Um, what type of experience the, are they hoping the to have? What, what kind of the combat, hell what kind of that? dance floor is there available to have that combat in? You can grapple people? For me, BTV is all about experiencing uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in oh, yeah. just one match, right? Like you see the vehicles, the weapons, the equipment. We really wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the play, playing the previous games, and just turn the volume up. Oh my God, the sound vehicles the are no longer just. I can't hear them great, anymore. but like we have pelicans delivering them, and we have a commander in your ear telling you that. Pelicans what? are like, dropping off these vehicles. What? Halo 2 style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply the field. That's where it makes it feel like like a real battlefield. And, and oh hell exciting. yeah! This is not oh, just hell more players. Yeah. This is just this certain beautiful slice of sci-fi chaos. Man, it's been a it's been a minute. Player expression. The announcer is it's your the big like. gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Play. Personally, I is really a reflection that's and the, information the for the OG. player. Designation button. So if a player grabs oh. a flag, your personal AI is going to tell you to, you know, get that thing back to base. Can you customize it? And give it? you some, like, moment-to-moment -moment updates. Our team took the enemy flag. What if we can let players choose their own AI and each one of those are different voices so that players I can love find customization. The their personality. I love making things the way I want them. They, they add to the sense of, like, Ooh. me as a, as a Spartan oh, it's like, being oh, more important oh, than, than for us and like in multiplayer is really about becoming a Spartan. Your <laughs> Spartan. You Personal are you AI. inside of the Halo universe. The body of customization content that we have on day oh my. one ensures oh my, oh that there oh are millions of customization combinations for Spartans on the battlefield. That includes getting... things like armor coatings, yes. uh, armor emblems, various armor effects, down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, uh, your gloves, of your course. knee pads, your helmet, you got, I mean, yeah. visor, your helmet oh, attachments. So then you look at weapons and we've got a whole slew of customization offerings there. Vehicles have a, have a huge pool of customizations too. We support customization in the game. Players can do the same thing on halowaypoint.com as well as the Halo Waypoint oh. app. Oh, of the course. The player also customizes the Spartan, the soldier inside oh, the suit. Oh my god. We want the Spartan to represent the player as much as possible. Crit. They can change their body type Crit. and their voice as well as choose prosthetics. That's in game, for the first man. Time. That's many Cody's shit. offer us a unique prosthetics? opportunity to craft some hyper polished oh looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming that at this from a player first mentality. So slick, what that man. means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly how they unlock customization content. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. Okay. First off is the battle pass. The Halo okay. Battle Pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons. What? Once you buy the battle pass. You got it forever. You it doesn't expire. No nobody's ever done that. A battle pass that when you buy doesn't expire. It means you got all the time in the world to work on it. 
What? You can purchase old battle passes as well as the current battle pass and choose which battle pass to put your progression towards. Fucking All of what? these rewards are single source. You can so purchase you're never old gonna be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the battle pass, we're not gonna let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. Uh, a lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through which playing. Which is how I like All it. All customization is just cosmetic. Ooh. Every season will have its own theme and introduce new Even just that guy in the middle looks, who's probably new basic for players, is new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the the samurai oh. already. That's one oh. of our event armor cores. What and that's going to be something that? that players can earn through gameplay for free. With us you going free to play for the what? multiplayer part of the you game, like, that was a big goal because you know, how do we that have I can be a way we can always bring players in, Halo. Right? And we can, when we have a new update, there's, there's, For free. they'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC as well as console. And, it's and what free that to means play. is we're Did able to get the already? biggest audience we've ever had. I mean, everybody oh God, gets to play, to play with no barriers. And even better, your progression what? carries from one platform to the next. Getting our game to be wow. on PC and console at the same time this is, is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new shit, players about the game. Man. How can we do things like make Crossplay, interesting, and like even in just customs, being able to just play with your friends. That like some people have PCs and some people wow. have consoles, and like <laughs> let them talk Holy to each shit. other, let them be friends. It's Free to play battle pass, but if you buy it, you never lose it, which means you can do season 12s and then go back to season one. What is this? Academy is a place that Academy. you can go uh, with an MP to kind of onboard into the experience. It's great for newer players who are still picking like up the controls and also people who cool. want to warm up before they head into matchmaking. It's a I mean, it's been, it's been a minute, you know, it's been a minute since I played Halo. I might have to, to go do this. Items, you know, it's been a and while. And also training mode that you can use to just oh, I like this. get warm. Oh my God, I just love seeing it. gameplay. For players who are new to Halo, uh, let's help them learn what this universe is about. Some There's going to be so like, many new people. And help them kind of just adding know that the free to play that people aspect have been for to now almost 20 years. So when they come in there, they don't uh, feel like they're behind everyone else. They There's going to be such an audience for this. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Our goal with bots, bots. has been to Whoa. have a variety of difficulties that kind of provide a good training okay. partner for wherever you're at. I'm not like too huge on the bots, you know? I, I mean, if I'm going to learn, I'll just go learn against On the people, road but. to launch and after launch is absolutely critical, right? I mean, Halo's always been about the community conversation. It's we want to make sure people. we hear our players, make changes where we can based on that feedback, make sure the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond yes, launch. Sir. What I'm genuinely excited that, about I'm, I'm, is taking the game out of our I hands. I am and genuinely excited about that. Hands. Not that you know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge sick or too, the content actually. that they're able to create with theater, watching streamers go after the game. I'm, I'm really excited involved, about that one too. You go to haloinsider.com, put in your info with your gamer tag, and we Wait, should be what? able to reach out to you if we want to invite you to a Halo Infinite flight. We feel like we've got a pretty good selection at launch what? and that's going to be there for our fans. And this isn't going to be something that is just a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already, and just can't wait already to really get into like that season, as soon stuff. as this game comes out. Like new maps, guns, new modes, maps. new ways to customize your Spartan. Launch is just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact. Halo has more never frequently. done something like this, and that's just going to be great. That is the future a of a multiplayer that's multiplayer. ever Thank changing. Thank you to the community for like, all their feedback the over the years so and it just far. Updates over and time. Uh, I'm looking forward wow. to the road to launch, launch itself, and beyond. Oh fuck yes, baby! Hell yeah! Woo! Oh my god! It's Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's we don't need that. We don't need that right now. I haven't even seen that trailer for that. Holiday 2020 21 20 2020 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Give me a date. I need a date. Ah, they didn't give me a date. There's a problem with that, with me being excited, you know. This is a PlayStation controller. That's okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. We'll work it out. So we'll work it out. Everything will work out. Right? I may or may not have. May maybe. 
ordered a next gen console. Maybe it was an Xbox. Maybe, maybe. Okay, I did. Hey, so I bought a next gen Xbox. I'm low on money because they're really hard to find. Um, if you want to want to like like the video and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Hey, hey, hey! If you don't, that's fine. Thanks for watching. You know, you know. But you ring the bell too. You know, if you do those first couple things. I said. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, then uh, do those things that I said earlier about you know like like and subscribe and you know. And if you don't, that's perfectly fine. But I would love it. I mean, I'd send you, I would, I would send you kisses and hugs in a box from me to you. You would tell me, you know, hey, ship it here. I'll send you kisses and hugs. Subscribe for kisses and hugs. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.